What is up readers, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to have another book and that is going to be The Curse of the King by Peter Larangis, the fourth book in the Seven Wonders series by our master storyteller, Peter Larangis. Okay, I love this book at first because I love how color-coded it is generally because the title is gold and the words are written or should I say printed in gold, gold color and as well as the back so it feels like I'm reading a one color book because it is all gold. In this one I'm very excited on what Lilculus they are going to get, what ability are they going to find because there are so many possibilities that I can list down if I want to because judging by the past books it was very awesome. First, we got the Loculus of Flight. Next is the Invisibility. And third one is the Loculus of Healing. Okay, so you heard the thunder at the back. It's currently raining right now as I'm recording this video. And for your information, I have astrophobia. I am scared, or should I say afraid, of thunder. That's why I feel uncomfortable at these times. But I still make videos for you guys, so let's continue with the video. Okay, so since this book is a bit shorter than the previous ones, this is even more fast-paced than it is compared to the previous books. And I immediately finished this book, and the ending was just unbelievable. I cannot believe that we got that ending. For those of you guys who haven't read the Seven Wonders books, I advise you to read now because I'm going to spoil this fourth one for you and you cannot watch this video if you haven't read from the first book to the fourth one. So goodbye for now and I'll see you later if you have read the book. Goodbye for now. Okay, so you know what it means. Let's discuss this book. Okay, so first things first. The shards of the Loculus of Healing could be pieced together and that's really good use for Jack. I'm very glad that this Loculus could be pieced together. I wanted to mention that the next place they went to in this trip is at Greece, at Rothuni, Greece. And I'm really glad to read about Greece in this book because I really love Rick Riordan books. From the Percy Jackson series to the Heroes of Olympus ones, I really love the land of Greece. The only thing that I didn't like about this book is that I wished it was even longer. I really wanted to read more about Greece because I love reading about Greece from the Rick Riordan books. I just wanted to share this experience with you when I was on the internet, I was scrolling to my Facebook feed and I saw that the Pyramids of Giza is near the city of Egypt and I was shocked because I really thought that Egypt was full of sand and pyramids and all of that but I was wrong. Egypt is really modern nowadays and they really preserve the historic landmarks in Egypt and I really appreciate that very much and when I finish this book I'm wondering if Greece has the same situation where the historic landmarks are preserved near the city I really wanted to read about Greece even more that's all that's all that I need in this book to make it you know almost perfect the next thing I want to talk about is Alia, which is the new character we meet in this book and she is nicknamed as number one and I find her a bit bossy and I didn't like her so much in this book. I also wanted to mention Eloise who is a kid that can speak backwards as well and you know I really think that they are related with Cass because Cass can also speak backwards. I became sad at the part when Fiddle and Nirvana were found dead and I really felt a loss of hope in this part of the book, I really became motivated as well that they would find all of the Loculus because their deaths would not go in vain. I didn't expect the ending of this book because I didn't expect King Olaar to take Ali back in time, back in his time, and the continent was rising. The continent they were standing on was really rising. And there is also a picture at the end of this book to show what was happening in that epilogue. So, if you can see here, there's the enigma, which was mentioned at the end of the book, and I really became hyped for the next book, and as well as the final book in the series, The Legend of the Rift. So those are all of my opinions based on this book. I really like this book for the same reasons I like the other ones. 
the fast-paced chapters, the illustrations, the characters, the adventures. And the only thing that I didn't like about this book is that I wish it was even longer. By the way, the Loculus they got in this book was really, really cool because it was the Loculus of strength. Imagine having the strength of Superman in a Loculus. When you hold that Loculus, you would be as strong as Superman because you could lift anything because you would have the strength. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I will give you three seconds to click that button. Three. Two, one. Also, click the bell button right beside the subscribe one to get notifications when I post videos. I post videos on Mondays and Fridays. Thank you for watching this video and as always, keep reading and I'll see you in the next video for more book stuff. Keep reading.